All right, welcome to the negative gradient. Today we're doing a Brotherhood of Steel Aspirant. We're going to start with a gray primer, which is already applied, and we're moving on with Vallejo German Gray. Why Vallejo German Gray? Well, I like that color. I used it on a, a Leopard 1 tank, and I think it has a nice nuance. Also, it covers really, really well. Uh, so yeah, base coat it, and you can see it's like kind of like dark blue gray. Um, yeah, it just looks really good. And I decided earlier to approach the power armor as a tank. Um, so I'm gonna do mostly grays and some weathering effects as well. Uh, moving on to some. Uh, detail I guess or rather the areas that I wanted to be in more focus and we're using Vallejo neutral gray for that uh, just use a you know two or four brush two is probably better uh, just put some highlight on the stuff that you want focused um, like pauldrons bracers um, kneecaps uh, really, whatever you feel like. And, uh, yeah. Additionally, we're going to experiment with some, I think, yeah, dry compound in this one. Uh, like Necron. Necron compound. So we'll see how that turns out. Uh, yeah. Just take it s slowly, and if at this stage, if anything goes wrong, that's just fine. Um, I do like these figurines. I mean, I, I'm a beginner, but I I en I enjoy painting them. It's plastic, and not the resin version. Uh, yeah. So here you can see I'm trying to get like I'm, I'm using the the darker color as a as a as a shade kind of just make sure it's there are no white sticking out or whatever So hopefully my microphone sounds better this uh, point otherwise I'll have to redo the whole thing and that sucks some red some white and we're moving into like once you're happy with your base base coat and your base um, like f I don't know if they're called base like yeah, focus areas <laughs> but that's what I call them so then you can start to add even more like pop to certain details like the crest on the chest the kneecaps the ridges I'm gonna use like nuances of red and gray and, and the reason for doing that is if if you just put red on something it doesn't really uh, like I like to blend uh, colors so if there's a hint of gray within the red that kind of like uh, makes it look more fluid even if it is a separate part unless it was something crazy like um, Like something that isn't part of it like for example the weapon uh, the weapon isn't a part of the armor so the weapon could theoretically have you know a super bright orange color for example but since the tubes and the piping is part of the armor um, you could imagine that it, it was all spray painted in the same color uh, as a base 
and then maybe to distinguish them you would have some red and we're doing some uh, Tamiya browns uh, for weathering like you saw there and here comes the Necron compound just to make it a little bit more metallic in places uh, we also detailed uh, his, the visor and the stomach uh, with some blue also from Tamiya so yeah I use Tamiya and Vallejo mostly uh, they go well with tanks and figurines in my opinion and yeah here's some photos like and subscribe <laughs>